I'm Terry Hemmings. I'm the president and CEO of Provident Entertainment. Provident is the division of Sony Music. Um, we handle everything, contemporary Christian, gospel, music, music publishing, recording, and film. I've been fortunate over the course of my career to work with artists like Amy Grant, Michael W. Smith, Jars of Clay, Third Day, Casting Crowns, Zach Williams, we just did a, a song last year with Dolly Parton. Snoop Dogg made a record with him. It's quite a unique experience. Terry's instincts are incredible. In his opinion, matters. It, it, it matters to a, a lot of high-ranking people in the music industry. You know, I know all the things he's accomplished. You know, one of the things is I know he's on the board of the Grammys. You don't sit on that board without being significant in, in music and Terry is significant. Surviving in the music industry over the last 20 years is a major accomplishment. And Terry has not only survived, he's excelled. He was early to recognize Christian music. Early in the business, there were, were lots of, of very talented artists. Um, most of them were regional or, you know, in segmented parts of the country and not being uh, either discovered or finding a business structure that they could work within that would help them launch their career or take it to the next level. Well, I started in the business through a relationship with Amy Grant and, and her producer, Brown Bannister. Tried to put some business structure around what at the time was primarily a creative entity. All the way from Amy Grant to Third Day, more recently, the last 15 years, you know, he and I discovered Casting Crowns and, and he signed Casting Crowns. The success that we've had with Casting Crowns, I know it's the, the highest selling debut al album of all time. And you know, they've gone to sell millions and millions of records. That wouldn't have happened if Terry hadn't have thought outside the box. He's, he's a great mix of that right brain, left brain kind of approach. He's, he's got a great sense of the business aspect of it. Uh, he can read a P&L and, and all the financial uh, schedules that we have to look at and know as well as any financial person. But then he can move from that and go to the studio with an artist and have a dialogue directly with that artist. Finding the combination of creativity and business and putting the capital in the right place and, and finding a way to support the, the, the talent ultimately has been the key to growing not only the contemporary Christian business, but the music business overall. He's got a real sense of uh, entrepreneurism to him, um, which has been a, a really important part of what Provident Entertainment has grown into and how they've remained uh, healthy in, in a period of time, really the last 20 years of just utter disruption within our industry. And he was really early in having the vision of recognizing the opportunity and of, of faith-based films. It started with Facing the Giants, and then he's done Courageous, he's done War Room. He recognized the distribution capability and leveraged what Sony has, and it's been extremely successful with that. But he pretty much spearheaded that whole movement. I know that for a fact. Uh, and Sony Pictures, uh, you know, high, holds him in very high regards. From a business perspective, as we all saw a lot of disruption that was coming from the digital space, instead of sitting there wringing the hands, hoping for something, he took action and moved forward. Um, and and that's that's the only way you can survive in this business or, or really in any business. Provident might not even be here if, had he not had that, that presence uh, to, to move in that direction. Being able to truly understand the heart of the creative as well as speak with our finance group in New York in an intelligent manner and understand what they're talking about most of the time. I think those skills I really, really took away from school. My four years at UK were, were some of the best years of my life. Just the experience of having a great sports team and enjoying fall football and Keeneland and all the things that Lexington has to offer, it was, um, it was a wonderful four years. Good leaders are always challenged themselves and their teams to continue to learn. And so I think those are all attributes and hallmarks of who Terry is. Uh, and obviously, 
what he learned at UK, I think was very, very important building blocks to get him to that place. When you look at what Terry's done, he definitely deserves to be in this and to have this award and be the receiver of this award. It's one of the greatest honors of my life and, and just to be recognized for doing something uh, that I love doing anyway is, uh, is very humbling and I'm confident it's going to be one of the things that I remember the most when I get to the end of my career. Terry, I'd just like to congratulate you on a job well done. Anytime you make the Hall of Fame uh, on anything, it means you're the best of the best and you truly are the best of the best. I'm so proud and honored to be able to be a part of your induction um, it's, it's well-deserved, and uh, I know it's something that you and your family will, will cherish. But again, I just wanted to say thank you for letting me be a part of this. Congratulations. I'm just honored beyond words, frankly, and, and of course it made my mother happy. Hi, Terry. It's Mom and Dad. We are so happy to be here to congratulate you on this distinctive honor. What a great reward for your hard work and dedication over the years. We're so proud of you and we love you so very much. We're so excited to see what your future holds. We, we love, love you, you, Terry. Terry.